I do want to actually push uh, and ask, do you see the Green Party's principles, values, the four pillars of the International Green Party movement, uh, peace, justice, democracy, ecology, do you see that as an umbrella that you could be comfortable with uh, going forward, not only in 2016 but beyond? But I think that all the values that you mentioned as the four pillars of the Green Party are, are aspects not only that I agree, or socialist alternative agrees, but I think the vast majority of working people and young people agree on this. I don't think that there's anything controversial about that. I think our challenge moving forward, and I think we are completely c capable as, as not only organizations, but as people on the ground, working people on the ground, history shows us that we have the ability to bring these forces together and really fight for social change. I mean, you know, when you were saying, well, if you agree on 95% uh, of the things, it just made me realize, oh, and, and imagine how much we disagree on with the Democrats and Republicans, you know. <laughs> right. It's probably 99.9% <laughs> of the time, you know, we, we disagree with them. And so I think that that, that uh, formulation of how we, we do have massive agreement, let's work together while being open about our disagreements, is the best way in which we can actually bring working people to the struggle. Because ultimately, you know, uh, we can have as many discussions and debates as we want among people who are, you know, seasoned activists, people who've spent many years being in political struggle, but there is no hope for us to bring any of that agenda of peace, justice, you know, economic justice, economic democracy, and, and ecological uh, freedom, all of that uh, into fruition unless the masses of working people come with us and fight on the streets. And they will, but we need to empower them.